You remember how we had this like crazy rise to information access with the cell phone? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Have we seen legitimately tangible evolutive benefits for human beings globally because of that? I would say yes, in part. I mean, cell ph- smartphones for all their detractions and distractions. Mm-hmm. They also allow, well, as I get older, my memory isn't quite as sharp as it was when I was younger. My digital device here is is a memory extension. If I, if you ask me something that I can't remember, I can simply, especially if I'm not on camera, I can just, I can just look it up on my phone. What did you say 20 minutes ago, Kevin? <laughs> and I'll sound really smart. So I do this at meetings. I'll have it under the table and yeah. somebody, will, somebody will be talking about a topic and I'll think, oh, that's like that guy that did something with brain computer interface. And I'll quickly look it up under the table to get the name of the guy. And I'll say, oh, that was that guy in 1994 that did blah, blah, blah. And I sound a lot smarter than I actually am because of my digital device. So then let me ask you something about your statement you just made. Okay. You sound smarter than you actually are. I know, I know. How does this then play to the point which I made about the fact, is it truly making humans evolve for the benefit of the human being? Well, yeah. I mean, if, if you can be smarter in some way because of a digital device, then you're smarter. I mean, if you want to go into the philosophical Oh, that's exactly that, what I'm I doing. know where you're headed with this. Of that, course you do. The cost-benefit analysis. Yeah, what is it costing us? Well, that cell phone is expensive for one thing, mm-hmm. and almost everybody buys one. Yeah. So if you're not flush with money, spending eight or $900 for a smartphone is not an easy buy. 